Don't ever go nowhere just looking for attention or looking for a man or looking for somebody to save you because it's never gonna work out in your favor, baby. You want to give off the energy of extreme comfort with yourself. That's a body language that makes every motherfucker in that room, even if he's with somebody, want your attention. So if you walk into a room and you feeling like, why the fuck are these people looking at me? Why the fuck are these people looking at me? Like you making shit up. This is just simple pleasure over here. You know what I mean? There is nothing much better than this. I don't want you to pick me, baby. You Two type of people in this world and I'm a chooser. Two type of people in this world and I'm a chooser. I choose. You know, let's stop. You shouldn't get in the car and be like, damn, I look a fucking mess. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dash. So, hey, I know this is my first video back since my birthday, since 15 days of Dash. Um, and I know I put on the community board that you guys are gonna get the Tulum um, vlog. Now, there is Tulum vlog content, but we know like Dash doesn't live for others. So I feel like I skipped a lot of important or fun parts. Um, so the vlog is going to be very ghetto. I'm going to post it because duh. But I wanted to tell y'all here first before you watch and be like, what the fuck was she doing? I wasn't thinking about recording. You know, I was thinking about living my best fucking life and turning 26. So that's pretty much how the vlog is going to go and how it looks, you know. Let's talk about my hair too. So my hair is from Satuni. I met Satuni a long time ago. Um, She started out a fairy and I actually met her in person when I was in... um. New York for a wedding. I love her and she asked me to be an ambassador for her wig brand. So period, you know, I'm going to be trying out a lot of y'all's different products and different things um, for ever, you know, so I want to make sure you guys know her wig was wonderful. This is great for an everyday look. Um, it's super cute. My stylist added a few layers and I just love it. I feel like it makes me feel sexy and wealthy, you know? It eludes the perfect energy, right? So I wanted to make sure you guys know that. Um, for this video, we're gonna talk about how to get approached by these men, okay? Now, um, one more thing before I keep going because I know y'all hate my intro, so I'll be trying to make them like super fast and like to the point or whatever. Um, my press-ons are from Lucy. That's makeup, that's makeup, okay? My press-ons are from Lucy. Um, I love them, period. I showed y'all these in another video, but I wanted you to see them on. They're super, super cute. All these links, the Toonies link, everything will be in my description box. And, um, yeah, I'm going to save the rest for the rest of the videos that you'll be seeing during the week. You're going to see me a lot, honey. I really like doing 15 days of Dash. I'm not going to do every day, but, like, I want to get back to doing, like, a lot. So, just stay tuned, okay? We got lots of shit coming. Um, yeah. So, let's get into it. How to get approached by these men. You gotta tell me which delivery you like better. Do you like the delivery of me going quick and speedy and to the point? Or do you like when I ramble? You know, because it's starting videos, y'all just gonna have to deal with me rambling because I'll be having tea, you know? But either way, okay, so number one, be approachable, okay? If you look like this stingy ass, rude ass girl, like he looking at you and you just look like you problematic or like you the type of bitch to get loud when shit don't go your way, you're not approachable you know if you look out of parts or you look too anxious or you're deeply in your phone that's something i've learned along my spiritual journey like we use our phones as a distraction and to prevent us from being in awkward situations because our phone is always there so like if you're constantly in your phone or you're constantly hiding yourself when you're doing that that doesn't make you approachable but if you're someone in in i don't want to say enjoying the moment but embracing the moment someone that's that's um present in the moment because it's very easy to not be present you are not approachable when you're not present so you want to be present you want to be approachable you want to be friendly if someone looks at you even if you're not attracted to them smile you never know your smile can make someone stay okay number two make sure your appearance is up to par always okay um now <laughs> this one's sticky because i mean i feel like i get approached if i leave the house i could look like shit and I'm gonna get approached. But I think it's the energy, I think it's the aura, right? And I don't leave the house literally, like my version of looking like shit is probably not y'all's versions of looking like shit. But at the same time, I'm always put together. I always look like I'm going somewhere. I might wear a full fucking work outfit and I'm going to the gas station. You know what I mean? Like you always wanna look up to part, you never know who you can meet. I learned this when I first moved here to Atlanta. Like, especially where I stay at in the city, celebrities and all kind of people are always over here, you know? So it's like, I could run into anybody at the gas station. So I need to look my best. So always look up to par, always be approachable, always be look a way that you would want a man to see you. You shouldn't get in the car and be like, damn, I 
I look a fucking mess. <laughs> he was fine as hell, <laughs> you know? Number three, you are a delicate woman who loves a courageous man, okay? So let's stop being so fucking aggressive. You know, let's stop. I've, I've talked to you guys about this heavily, but I don't think anyone understands that there's nothing they could say to me to make me feel like their aggressiveness can't, can't be fixed, okay? I am a monster when I want to be. Um, and now I use it in business, so it's perfect balance. But like, if you don't have that balance, like it can really affect your dating life. It can really affect the way men's perception of you is, you know? You want to give them like, they should feel mighty to be able to have you in their life. You're the person that makes them feel like a hero. You are a delicate, wonderful being. And like when you move with a certain comfortability about yourself, you give off that aura of like you are a woman that is looking for someone who's like a provider and a giver. Like when you walk around tough and mighty and aggressive and shit, that doesn't make a man want to come in and be your hero, you know? And this ain't no shit like we trying to be saved, but think about it in the sense of like how you carry yourself as a light woman versus a heavy woman. And I mean it like, when I'm light, when I'm feeling light, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling like how I look right now, you know? Like, I'm gonna move with that same pace. I'm not gonna be rushing to do shit. I'm not gonna be moving too fast and forgetting little steps. I'm not gonna be talking too fast and not thinking about my responses. Versus when I'm feeling heavy or I'm feeling like I got a lot of shit going on, get the fuck out of my face. I'm not really trying to do all this. I'm trying to move quick. I'm trying to do whatever, okay? So you wanna make sure your energy around men is very delicate, very put together, um, very calm you know, mellow. That makes men want to approach you. Okay, number four, you elude an energy that makes men want to feel chosen, okay? So, I've been saying this for like two years. Two type of people in this world and I'm a chooser. Two type of people in this world and I'm a chooser. I choose, you feel me? Like, <laughs> that's how you want to make men feel. You're never you're never in his roster and just being picked, baby. You know what I mean? This is your world. You are the T, you know what I mean? And you want to elude an aura that makes a man want to have your attention. Like, there's no such thing as you taking a loss because a loss for you is just a lesson. You want to elude that energy all around you, all around you. Like, this is just simple pleasure over here. You know what I mean? There is nothing much better than this. And then if, if it doesn't work out with you, babe, it's okay because it's just going to work out with someone else. Like you have to have this, this unwavering confidence and baby, are we going to get into this unwavering confidence shit when I talk to y'all about some spiritual shit coming? Okay. But you got to have that unwavering energy, that unwavering confidence that you don't want to be chosen. I don't want you to pick me. I don't want you to pick me, baby. You know what I mean? Um, I'm still have to give y'all the example of that DM I received when I was on Zoom, which I actually have two perfect examples. I'm actually just letting them bottle up and we just gonna have a fucking video of examples. Dumb shit these men do, you know what I mean? Um, so we're gonna do that soon, but you are the chooser, mm, okay? And you can pick and choose if you're gonna be the chooser. It's all based on your energy. And number five, another big thing to pay attention to when you wanna be approached by men. What does your body language say? So like, once again, this goes back to like the phone example. If you have your head deep in the phone, like for some reason, the perfect example that keep popping in my head is the elevator. So every time you get on the elevator on my building, you could get on the elevator and it'd be one person, or you can get on the elevator and it could be seven to 10 people, you know? And um, seven isn't really a good example. Say it's five people on the elevator, right? And the person that gets on is super friendly, usually me. I'm walking down like, hey, hi, how y'all doing, whatever. Cause it's like, what the fuck? I'm just coming on the elevator. Like I don't want energy to be weird. So um, once, once I speak or whatever, you know, I expect everybody else to say something back or to acknowledge that I said something and it's not always like that. And another thing I'll notice is that people will avoid having to speak by having their phones in their hand and having their heads in their phones in the elevator. Like, oh, I'm looking at someone on my phone. I ain't got to speak to nobody. You know, but that's like shitty ass body language. And it's like, sometimes people be needing like, men. I'll tell y'all about the three second glance, baby. You look at him for three seconds, he know you want him. So now he's fixing to pursue you. Now you just gave his insecurity the okay to say something to me because I might respond in a way that's beneficial to you as well. So if you're looking down at your phone all the time, how do you have time to do that? You know, how do you have time to recognize whether or not like a person is actually trying to like get your attention, you know? So stay the fuck off your phone when you are in environments where you would want someone to look at you or potentially approach you. Another one is like, um, when you're standing, there's an episode in, in the zero to one, zero to 100 um, 
Sugar Baby Show, my little mini series on my membership. And it's I think it's episode one, but I talk about body language when you're standing, body language when you're walking, how you should walk in. Bitch, you better walk in every room looking at everybody. Don't you dare walk into no room and look down or walk into no room and try to be quick sitting down. Like, no, this is your fucking runway. This is your time. You got five fucking seconds to make an impression. I talked about that in the membership too. I think in that fucking video, but like you got five seconds to make an impression when you walk into any building. Five seconds to make people make their own decision about you in your head. And the thing that you need to understand is that people see with the see you the way you see yourself. So if you walk into a room and you feel like, why the fuck are these people looking at me? Why the fuck are these people looking at me? Like you making shit up, you know what I mean? Versus walking into the room and like just knowing that these people better fucking acknowledge you walking in this room. Like, that's the energy. You're a T. You're that girl. They've been waiting on someone like you to arrive. That's how you have to walk in. That's how you have to step in. That's a body language that makes every motherfucker in that room, even if he's with somebody, want your attention. Okay? You are that girl from today on. Okay? Number six, I've said this before, but smile at the men you are attracted to and smile at the men that seem enticed by you. Now, it's a it's a confidence thing. And if you once you get there, I'm not even going to say if you get there. Once you get there, you'll understand. Y'all will understand that none of the shit that I be saying is dramatic. None of it is fucking fairyland. All of this shit is for real, right? I know when somebody wants me immediately. It's very easy to tell. It's very easy to know. Um, they usually cannot stop staring. They will stare. They will look away. They will stare. They will look away. They will stare again in hopes of getting that three second glance. You know, I'm going to smile. I'm going to acknowledge you one fucking time. But if I don't want you beyond that, I'm not going to. But that one smile, that one acknowledgement could make someone feel fantastic. And it is a welcoming energy. You know, you want to give off the energy of extreme comfort with yourself. You know, of course you're smiling at me. Of course you think I'm beautiful. Of course you're enticed by me. So why would I rudely not acknowledge that? Why would I rudely not? You know, it's something simple. You know, it, you don't have to do the most. You don't have to open your mouth. Because that's one thing. I don't talk to strangers if I can. I, I avoid it. Unless it's just something that's beneficial. But either way, those small things set a tone for who you are as a woman and how people feel when they see you. So... Don't be no plain, regular, regular, stuck-up, snobby-ass girl, okay? Don't be her. You can be that bad bitch without being a bitch, you know? Number seven, an easy way to get approached is to be by your fucking self, right? I always recommend um, getting comfortable with taking yourselves on dates. Now, we do have a series coming called... Um, I don't know what the fuck it's called. To be honest, I haven't came up with the name. But it's about taking yourself out on dates, right? And we'll do like a weekly thing with it. Um, I'm also going to start going live weekly. I was going to do like Vigo live, but like, what's the fucking point? You know, I don't care. Y'all are my family. So I'm not going to keep getting all these fucking apps. So either way, stand the lookout on the community board for a live because it's coming. Um... But when you go out, be alone. You know what I mean? Like, be alone. Don't be afraid to, like, go try new places that you've always wanted to go. Go sit up and do different things you haven't done. Get dressed the fuck up and go. Like, I mean, so much is coming soon that I don't know how I'm going to bring up to y'all or tell y'all what's tea. But just rock out. The next four months are about to be fucking nuts. Yeah. The next four months are about to be nuts. Um... And it's outside of my control. It's, this is all. This is me showing you guys what unwavering faith and confidence looks like, okay? So, <laughs> just know. But either way, one big thing that's going to take place is me being on my lonesome a lot. And um, doing more things by myself and exploring more things that I don't know about myself yet, you know? The one thing I love about me as a coach, like, I'm always real with y'all like I'm still growing I'm still learning every fucking day and the more I learn the more I have experiences with things and the more I can come back and tell y'all you know okay don't do it this way do it this way instead you know so um I have embarked on a new fucking journey and I <laughs> one day might tell the story of how this was discovered but I'm not ready right now so either way just know a lot of shit is coming and take my advice to heart because this is me literally doing it first and telling you what to do but either way you need to become become comfortable with yourself like always going out with your friends and stuff um or 
freestyling like people say like don't folk doesn't fucking work you know what i mean learn how to be alone learn how to go do things because you're actually interested in doing them versus looking for somebody to save your ass at them events okay i see you bitch do better and then my last one number eight go for you not men i just mentioned this with freestyling y'all always ask me like advices on freestyling and i'm not sure where the fuck i ever said go freestyle i don't think i've ever said that um I don't think I ever even freestyled when I was like in college. Like that's not my vibe. I don't go nowhere looking for no man. Like I ain't gotta do all that. I can go outside and find a man. Literally, outside my door. Like no cap. So what the fuck am I gonna go get dressed and posted up just to find a man for? No, if I'm gonna do anything, I'm going there because I wanna go there. I'm going there because I wanna enjoy my time. I'm going there because I might wanna see this new um, Beyonce, this environment. I might see a drink on their Instagram that I wanna try. That's why I'm going, you know? And naturally, men are going to approach me. Naturally, men are going to feel enticed by me. Naturally, men are going to want to know me. That's just how the energy goes. Never go somewhere looking for a man. Like, y'all don't understand. Men, <laughs> y'all are learning, okay? I don't talk about it enough. But y'all are learning that I know all of this because I am on my road of spiritual alignment, okay? Men are also spiritually aligned. Men, Some men can read you the same way someone like me can read somebody, you know? And like... They know when a girl is there looking looking thirsty or looking for someone's attention. They know, and they don't respect it, and they don't approach you. And if they do approach you, they approach you with ill intentions. So I say using the term freestyling isn't really the, the vibes. You know what I'm saying? Go to places that are beneficial to you. So if I tell you to go on Eventbrite, and I tell you to find something um, high-end in your area to go and attend, right? Because rich men are going to be there. That doesn't mean just go there because if you go there and you don't know shit about that event, then you look stupid and you, you, you're you there looking for the wrong damn thing versus going there doing something that could benefit you. So an example, um, me and Suge are in the real estate industry. Suge is way deep into it. I don't know nowhere near as much as she does about the real estate industry. So one of the investments we want to make we've been thinking about attending investment events here in Atlanta. So we go on event, right? We look up all the new investment um opportunities coming up and we figure out which ones are beneficial to things that we want to align with now of course it's going to be men with money there because this is an investment thing you know even if people that are there learning information don't know stuff the people who are running the panel they got some fucking money you know what i mean but like it's a it's like think of it like killing two birds with one stone but the the main stone is the one that's beneficial to you don't ever go nowhere just looking for attention or looking for a man or looking for somebody to save you because it's never going to work out in your favor, baby. You know what I mean? So, yeah. those are, That's how you get approached by a man out in public. Like, it's really, like, not hard. But if you just do things right the first time, you won't have to, like, kind of wonder how to do it. You know? So, that's what this video is for, to help you start getting approached, okay? Um, if you're not getting approached by men, it's something in this video. And a lot of you guys, it's your body language and your energy. Like, you just don't understand how ill it is um, when you're out in public, what you give off. So, it might be something you want to pay attention to, you know? Um, and you just might want to start being a little softer give yourself the opportunity to be you know treated like the queen that you are right okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i think this is the style y'all like when i just kind of spit it out real fast and keep it cute and funny so like um i think this is what we're gonna keep doing so i have so much coming with dash beauty factory jesus christ i mean i'm telling y'all so much happened so much happened and i'm just kind of like skipping over that <laughs> You know, because y'all will find out later. But um, so much is coming. So many new programs. I want to make a program that's like, how to be a bad bitch. Like, and I mean, like, I might call it that. Like, I might fucking call it that. Because it's different from all the other things that I plan on teaching you guys. That one specific course would be about, like, the demeanor, the energy, the fucking look and it's not even a look it's like the look you know what i mean like it's not like okay you need just just like this it's like kind of like a sense of a piece of you that you need to bring out and i just want to teach y'all all of that shit because this shit is like an energy it's an energy it's all an energy it's all a, a, a way of thinking it's all a way of being you know it's not this shit these hoes be showing out on doing on the internet you know Okay, either way, I have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things and that I want to give you guys and show you guys that I have been holding off for a very long time. And um, 
I'm gonna stop giving a fuck fully now. You know, we all know the Dash's level of not giving a fuck was pretty high already, but baby has it skyrocketed, you know? So, fuck it, the sky's the limit. Here we are, you know? I love you so much and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.